The Earthquake in Chile by Heinrich von Kleist The Earthquake in Chile German, Das Erdbeben in Chile is a novella written by Heinrich von Kleist, 1777-1811, and published in 1807. The novella's central characters are two lovers caught up in the chaos of the 1647 Santiago earthquake in Chile. Synopsis The story begins with the lead character, Hieronimo Rugera, preparing to hang himself in prison in Santiago in 1647. Rugera had been a tutor at the house of Don Asteron. But Don Asteron dismissed him upon Asteron's discovery of an illicit relationship between his daughter and Hieronimo. Hieronimo and Josephi continued their relationship and were soon discovered by Josephi's brother. Don Asteron sends Josephi to a convent, where she and Hieronimo continue their relationship. Until one day Josephi gave birth on the steps of the cathedral. The city folk are excited by this story. Hieronimo was sent to prison and Josephi was scheduled to be executed. As the procession marched towards the execution site, Hieronimo prepares to hang himself. At this moment, a strong earthquake destroys much of the city. Freeing Hieronimo from prison, despite his fears that Josephi had already died, he begins to search for her, and is later reunited with her and their son, Philip, on her way to her execution as the earthquake strikes. Josephi rescues her son from the convent, where she had entrusted him to an abbess. The abbess and most of the nuns are dead. Josephi had spent much of the day searching for Hieronimo and fearing him dead. They plan to travel to Concepcion, Chile, where Josephi has family, and from there to Spain. The following morning, the couple is approached by Don Fernando who asks Josephi to breastfeed his son. Juan, since his wife, Donna Elvira, has been injured in the earthquake, she complies, and Don Fernando invites the reunited family to join his own. They are greeted as friends, and exchange stories and rumors of the happenings in Santiago. Hieronimo and Josephi decide to go to Concepcion and write to the Viceroy of Santiago to ask permission to stay in Chile. That afternoon, a service is to be held at the lone surviving church in Santiago and the party. Aside from Donna Elvira and her father Don Pedro, decides to attend. Donna Elvira appears to fear for Josephi's and Hieronimo's safety but Don Pedro feels that Donna Elvira's fears are misplaced. They attend the service. The sermon compares the earthquake to God's destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and speaks specifically of Josephi and Hieronimo's sin. Donna Constanza Don Fernando's sister-in-law, recognizes the danger. But before the party can make their escape, someone calls out. Identifying Josephi as the adulteress and accusing Don Fernando of being Hieronimo. Josephi, who is holding Don Fernando's son Juan is grabbed by the crowd. The crowd assumes Juan is Josephi's baby. Don Fernando identifies himself and attempts to rescue Josephi. A naval officer, Don Alonso. Identifies Don Fernando but hesitates when a cobbler asks about Josephi. Josephi gives Juan and Philip, who was being held by Hieronimo, to Don Fernando and tells him to leave and save the children, but he refuses and borrows Don Alonso's sword. The crowd allows them to leave, and just as they think it's safe to enter the courtyard, a man claims that he is Hieronimo's father and clubs Hieronimo over the head. Donna Constanza who had been walking with Hieronimo, runs to Don Alonso, but is mistaken for Josephi and is also clubbed to death. Seeing this, Josephi gives herself up to the crowd and is clubbed by the cobbler. Master Pedrio. Don Fernando defends the children with his sword but eventually his son, Juan, is torn from his grasp and bashed against a pillar. The crowd disperses and Don Fernando is left with Philip whom he adopts as his own child with Donna Elvira. At the conclusion, Don Fernando compares Juan and Philip and considers how he had acquired them, and remarks. It almost seemed to him that he should be glad. End of the summary. Thank you. Thank you.